Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with another attack strategy video. This one for Town Hall 10, and showing two attacks today. It is your an attack that we've seen in the past at Town Hall 10, and that has continued to be a strong attack. But I want to talk about it in detail a little bit more than usual in this video. So this one is the uh, Bo La Loon attack. It's a kill squad based attack where you come in with your uh, golem, king, and bowlers, typically a jump and a rage, get them deep into the base, and the queen is used as a suicide uh, mission. She takes out um, like a, a part of the base on the side of it, which takes out an air defense, gets good value defensively, and also creates the funnel for the kill squad going in. And then from there, you just do a typical Laloon around the rest of the base. And I think the reason um, this strategy is powerful is because when we talk about like hogs at Town Hall 10, clearing out the core is very important because it helps your hog pathing, it helps all your hogs stay inside the heel. And I think the same principle applies to Laloon. It's a little bit different, but it has the similar characteristic that if you can clear out the core of the base or at least get some of those important core defenses down your loons are going to move in more of a tight path around the outside of the base and preventing them from cutting across the middle too much um, if it's not needed is going to be beneficial to you i'll go ahead and start the attack and you guys can see what i mean a little bit more but um the the idea is basically that when you're a defender when it's your base being attacked you want as many defenses as possible targeting the troops at a time. So you want the troops to be spread out so all your defenses are shooting at once. If you're the attacker in general, you want your troops to be more condensed and to be tanking for each other. That way, um, your, your troops are getting value, taking stuff out, um, tanking for each other. So a defense has to pick between what it's going to shoot down. If they're on separate sides of the base, uh, multiple defenses can be shooting each one. So I think it's a similar principle in that when you get the core of this base cleared out with a bigger kill squad than other variations of this attack, when you really get deep into the base, like uh, you can see uh, the symbol name guy in Genesis does here, it allows your loons to stay in a kind of a um, a pack around the outside of the base. They just kind of go in like a little half circle around the base, which means that defenses can't target them officially efficiently um, because they are going to be farther away typically the defenses in the core are what can cover a lot of ground because they're very central they can reach pretty much all parts of the base but the ones towards the outside are too far away to reach the balloons until they come close enough and by that point it's too late the haste spells do a great job propelling the balloons in so as soon as a wizard tower or an inferno tower or an archer tower starts targeting the balloons they're already pretty much there that's the power of the um kind of the circular half circle pathing uh, this inferno barely is up these last few loons will take it out if the core defenses though are left up the loons are going to take a longer route around the base they're going to get more spread out and defenses will have more time to target them before the loons actually get to them so that more zigzag pattern uh, with loons going to the middle of the base to take out core expos and stuff can actually work against you i know in previous videos we talk about you want some of your loons cutting across the core of the base and that's true at town hall 9 and even Town Hall 10, but you don't actually want defenses in the core if you can help it, especially at Town Hall 10, uh, because the core defenses are what can really mess up some Laloon uh, attacks. So moving on to one more, just two attacks, going to be a relatively short video, uh, but they are two very good attacks that illustrate how to do this strategy. Um, same attacker, great war to him, uh, him or her, I guess, picking up the, uh, the six-star war. Always impressive at Town Hall 10 and um, gets that archer tower taken out plus that mortar good funneling value wants to do that on one side of the base once again the suicide queen going to get good defensive value and create the funnel that's what you want to look for um and th this isn't the you know a go-to for all bases you have to identify the base see what's going to work on it my last video we saw uh, a dragon attack at town hall 10 so look what's going to work oftentimes this might not be the best strategy so keep that in mind but the queen does a great job creating the funnel. Here come the bowlers. I like how we started them off to the left there to avoid them targeting that um, gold storage. A few of them actually do on the outside of the base and doesn't get an incredible amount of value from this kill squad actually um, because he misses the inferno. He does get the queen. He gets the wizard tower, uh, but I think he might get, he gets at least one expo 
two expos. Um, so you can see, despite not getting the Inferno, the core is pretty much semi-cleared. It's a little bit still kind of thick in this part of the base, but he got some important defenses right here cleared out. This Inferno Tower, you can see, if you look at the range on it, if this Lava Hound will move, I'll have to wait for the Lava Hound to move, I guess. Or is it not going to move the entire attack? Oh, there we go. We just had it for a second. Hold on. Got to get this to work. Got to be very precise with where I tap. There we go. The Inferno Tower can't really reach many defenses all the way until they get to that air defense or the bomb tower next to it, really. I mean, it can't reach that expo, can't reach the far bomb tower. So by taking out those key defenses near it, it actually doesn't matter that much that he doesn't get the Inferno because when you look at how... Um, devastating a defense is going to be you have to keep in mind how long is it going to be able to target the balloons before the balloons can target it and with this inferno tower it is a very short amount of time it cannot cover many of the defenses that are still left up which is why this attack is still going to work even though the kill squad didn't get a ton of value so the loons cutting through here once again like i said the um, defenses you know archer towers these two weren't engaged until the loons were already moving in. So by having the core cleared out, you make it difficult for the defenses to really start targeting stuff before they're already within the next two or three defenses that are going to go down. So that is the power of this strategy. And there's the last Inferno going down. Um, even though it took so long, still has quite a few loons left up. The Inferno Tower was only targeting the balloons for maybe a few seconds before they actually reached it. So great stuff, great two attacks to... Um, I don't really have a name to go by, so to uh, hashtag, asterisk, dollar sign, uh, first parenthesis, question mark. Good stuff. Thanks for watching this video, and I got a Town Hall 9 one that I should have coming out soon uh, with a new cool Town Hall 9 attack strategy, or at least a variation of what we typically see. So be sure to check that out very soon, and thank you guys for watching this one. See you in the next video. Bye, Sectatron out.